Hi, I'm Mike with Chim USA. Today we're going to be doing another video on alignment angles. Today we're going to be discussing camber. Camber is the tilt of the tire. If the tire is leaning in at the top, it's negative camber. If it's leaning out at the top, it's positive camber. Camber is a major pulling angle. It's a minor tire wear angle. So if you have a car that pulls to one direction, the first thing you want to look at is camber. If you have one that's been in out of camber, severe camber for a while, you also need to rotate the tires front to back because a wheel assembly that's had major camber issues will instigate a tire wear pattern that will still make a pull. Camber being the tilt of the tire is leaning out and in on one side or both of them leaning in or out at the same time. As long as the camber is equal, being if they're both out at the same angle or in at the same angle, it's not going to cause a pull. What happens to make a pull is when one tire is tilted in or out at the same time and the other tire is straight or they're both leaning in the same direction. Now here's the thing. Manufacturer specs give you a tolerance, okay? Camber would be, let's take for example, perfectly plumb tires, a camber of being zero would be optimal, but you always have a a spec that's plus or minus that's considered an acceptable level. Example is camber, like we said earlier, being zero, you'll have it plus or minus maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.25. If it's both in at 0.25, it's in the green, so to speak, is within acceptable limits, or out at 0.25. Where you have an issue is if you have one of them having positive camber at 0.25 and the other one having negative camber at 0.25, it's going to make the tire, the wheel pull in one of those two directions, even though it's within specs. Another thing to consider with camber is the tension that it can put in the front end suspension. Example is if you have both tires that are push, pushing in or both tires that are pushing out, if they are outside of the tolerance that the manufacturers list, what happens is if this one's leaning in and this one's leaning in, both tires try to go in a crisscross direction. This tries to send the vehicle that way. This tries to send the vehicle that way. The symptom you will see is a uh, front suspension that is darty. In other words, depending on which wheel gets the most traction, the, the front end will try to go in that direction. This concludes our class on camber. If you have any issues with your liner or if you need to know anything else, check back. We're going to be having further videos on this. If you would like to talk to us in person, you can always give us a call at the office at 678-717-1050. Option two for service, anyone in our office can help you.